Hello you guys, this is Upby Panda Guy here and welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we are playing Train Simulator. So this is a new simulator that is out there right now. And I just want to check it out. Like I say, I always like to play brand new games that come into Roblox because um, because I just think that it's good to be very early at a game that is maybe, um, maybe a bit less successful at the moment but may blow up um well this game's already blew up quite quickly actually than the last time i saw which was two days ago so i was just fiddling around with this game i was just playing around actually and a bit of fiddling as well uh basically what you do is i know you start off with a very rusty old train when you're new to the game you start off with a um, a rusty train, but don't worry, that will be upgraded as soon as you can see. I saved up over 1,200 cash on the corner. And this is all you do is, well, all you do is just collect patience. And as you can see, I already had, did I just say patience? I mean passengers. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm playing like a doctor's role play. Um, so you pick up all the passengers and, um, and then you drop them off. This is just as usual. You, you know, probably might you probably might be familiar with what trains are with. You know, like how transport works, and and it, it's pretty straightforward to understand how this game works. Basically, um, the people are treated as your money, of course. And these um, station stands here are actually meant to be upgraded. So there's there's one I just went past, and this one here is currently closed. But it's going, but it's going to be, but it's only going to be opened if you unlock it by paying cash. But mainly, I want to, well, I first um, want to get an upgrade of this train because it's a rusty train. It's it's not attractive. It just looks terrible, and we need we need like a proper train design, way better than that. So we need to go into the warehouse. This is where you can buy stuff. So, the one that I can afford at the moment is uh, the Comet. So, we're going to buy that. Equip. Um, yeah, equip. Um, customize. Requires 75 Robux. That's just game passes. Go back. Um, you can upgrade the speed. You can upgrade the capability capacity so um so they, these are pretty handy so um you know it requires some you know work a bit more of a playthrough of this game and then you'll be able to unlock more of each of the capacity levels and the speed levels from up to five so uh this is pretty handy and if you want to um uh where do you check out if you want to um if you want to buy a bit more land you just walk back into the warehouse if it would let me uh, okay i think someone said on here um uh, when i played this uh two days ago someone said in the chat room that there's like a bug on here but this game's new so obviously there would be some bugs but that's that's very normal so this is a very much better train than before, as you can tell. So I'm happy with that. So that's over and done with. Now, I think we're mainly focused on, um, of course, picking up passengers, but also um, opening up new um, stations because there's currently two stations up there. And that way it will bring money a bit more quicker. So it's like a difference, like if you want to stay where you are as a rusty train and just keep upgrading you know the you know the stations and that so that way you get money more quicker or you want to update the design of your train which i wanted to just do that it just it's just how terrible that train i just got like the rusty one just looks awful and i was just like wait i need to really buy that <laughs> i need a, a better upgrade that looks more like a train and more um attractive so it's so i actually thought this was only a one player um 
um, you know, one player per server, but actually, there's other people into the game, but you all have your own islands on being on the train. So there's one over there, there's one over there. They're basically the same islands, but there's only one person of each. So this island is completely mine, which feels really great because sometimes I don't like when people invade my property and stuff. Especially like with tycoons and that though, oh my goodness, you know, when you're working so hard on a tycoon and, so and suddenly someone breaks into your tycoon with a sword or a gun and, li and literally attacks and invades your tycoon. And especially when you don't have a weapon, that's very irritating. So just picking up passengers and then I'm just going to go all the way to the tunnel and all the way back and... There's a load this time. That's great. That means more money incoming. So I got 700 cash so far. I'm not sure if the cash has been increased because of um, my train upgrade. I think it has actually. Um, that actually went up pretty quick. I probably won't, wasn't paying attention to the count, but I remember I had like 200 left after I bought this train upgrade. So. I think we're doing very, very well right here. Let's go back to the warehouse. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure how, like... Oh, I need to get off the train. Um, okay, so this is a sort of bug that I think it only happens at one term. Like, you can only do it once, you know, to check out the shop and stuff like that but you can't really um, do it twice for some reason that's just like a bug that someone said in the chat room up in here uh, two days ago someone just said like there's a bug on here just letting everyone so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, well well just take back all the passengers of where their stations are there's only two stations then I'm going to X off the game and then I'll come back. So see you guys later. Okay, you guys, we're back now. So I just played a little bit of, um, of course, the game while off recording because I wanted to, uh, you know, collect more money. And feeling, I fancy buying a station, um, making another st station open. So that way I can get a bit more of a money bonus from it. Well, of course, more passengers coming through. Um, I really, um, I know this sounds strange, but I really um, can't remember how this really worked. Um, I don't want to X this off because if I X this off, um, you know, I, I can I can be just stuck, um, you know, um, like what just happened like this is like a one-time sort of click and once I X off I can't go back in so I have to like um, X off the game and come back um, I can't remember how did I even do uh, well this is this is um this is a warehouse so I don't really think why a train uh, a station would be associated with this I think it would have to be somewhere else Okay, let's, let's um, exit the shop, um, I think there was a teleporter, Tele ah, is this right? Ah, okay, purchase two stations to unlock, oh yes, you can also get access to other lands it seems like, so once you unlock the two um, abandoned stations, you'll be able to um, get the city, so... I don't know much about what the city is, um, what the city does, but I think it probably brings a bit more um, passengers coming or more people coming in. So I got station one that's available. Station two is open as well. Station three is abandoned, and station four is already abandoned. But this one's a smaller one, and we're gonna buy it. There we go. Um, yep. So third station is now open the start our journey so collect passengers 
I would have to upgrade more uh, room in my train so I can fit more passengers in. So that will be a, another thing that what I'll save money for. Here we go, the third station. And yep, so this is the fourth one. So um, once I unlock that, um, I think I'm going to be moved on to the city. I have no idea where the city is. Um, I think it's right at the back somewhere. I really don't know. But actually, I, I don't think it's right at the back over there. Um, because this is quite bizarre. But, um, oh yeah, there's a box there. Ah. Yeah, that box was, um, like, when you load up into the game, you'll be spawned in that room until you are fully loaded up to the map. So, they just put it right next to my area. So, as you can see, through the fields, there's other train tunnels as well here. So, I may be thinking that, is there going to be more land in the future or something? Is there going to be, um... Like, is there going to be more stations and more land I'll use? I, it, I, it, it probably isn't, but I don't really know because from the looks of it, it looks like this may be something coming soon. Like, more land, more stations, and and then it's just going to be just me um, just traveling around the place and that. So, I'm not really sure if I'm going to have any workers or anything just to help me, but I don't, I don't think so. I really don't know actually, it's it's pretty interesting, like all those, um, all those um, tunnels there, it just makes you think that this this might be a, fe a feature coming soon when there's like um, more to do around that area, around that area, so collecting passengers, and... And collect more. This is basically all you do. Um, so I'm probably going to end the video pretty soon. Um, probably just by one more, um, one more turn from the start. But uh, this game's actually pretty fun. Um, I'm not a huge train fan. I'm, I don't really know the names of the trains. But I only came to this game because it was new and feels great to, you know, to come early to a you know you know visit a game where it's just been released it just feels great that you know you could be like the earliest ones to be there so just drop them all off and my cash will increase all at once okay there we go and this one so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want me to do more videos about uh, this game. It would be great because um, if you enjoy this, then I could actually make more videos of it. And, and sooner I will probably might be able to unlock maybe the ta uh, maybe the city feature in that. So if people maybe just want to know what is it in that, because I really don't know what it is. So it's probably going to be very interesting for me and interesting for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think this video you can leave any requests in the comments of what games you play next it's in roblox or outside roblox and if you're brand new, brand new to the channel please be sure to subscribe and watch the subscribe please don't post notifications which is the bell right next to the subscribe button so that way you won't miss a new video from me whenever I upload. So like I said, thank you for watching and have a good day.